Kaolin Jiatsu, a Tibetan Buddhist monk, was arrested by the Chinese regime after the 1959 Tibetan uprising. This brave monk had refused to compromise his religious beliefs. He was arrested for protesting and spent the next 33 years in Chinese prisons and labor camps. In prison, this monk endured the most brutal forms of torture. In September 1990, a Chinese official took an electric shock device and put it into Jiatsu's mouth. Even after he fell unconscious, the savage officials kept beating him. Later on, he woke up covered in his urine, feces, and blood. In spite of all the torture, Jiatsu never ceased to abide by the peaceful teachings of his faith. The most striking aspect of his endurance has been his lack of resentment towards his tormentors. In 1992, Jiatsu was released and he escaped to Dharamsala in India. He managed to bring with him some of the instruments of torture used against him as a proof of the crimes committed by the Chinese regime. Since then, he has devoted his life to expose the atrocities of the communist regime. In 1995, he even testified before a United Nations tribunal. His memoir, Fire Under the Snow, was published in 1997. It ranks among the most remarkable works of literature on torture and survival. The Chinese Communist Party has not limited its acts of torture and persecution to just the Tibetans. Rather, over the years, the persecution of other religious groups like the Uyghurs and House Christians has intensified. More notably, the persecution of Falun Dafa, Falun Dafa also known as Falun Gong, a peaceful self-improvement spiritual meditation practice which is well received around the world. The persecution of Falun Gong has been one of the largest and most severe cases of human rights violation in the world today. To this day, China remains an authoritarian state that systematically curbs fundamental rights. Over the years, whenever China's human rights record encounters criticism from other countries, the CCP reacts aggressively to silence this criticism. In the midst of China's growing influence over the world, this issue needs to be addressed. China's clout is one of the major factors enabling the CCP to buy the silence of the international community over its human rights abuse.